Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So, as most of you know, if you've been watching my channel today, I have filmed three videos. No, two videos. This is my third. Um, I haven't, uh, this is the end of my day. So I filmed those two videos and then I ended up going to a friend's house. Sorry, I can just see that like my eyeliner has smudged there and it's bugging me. Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to play with it. So my makeup doesn't look even close to where it looked earlier today, so please excuse that. Um, and I have changed my lip color because I'm doing an Inglot haul and I wanted to be wearing mostly Inglot makeup, so that's what I am wearing at this point. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this a little, see if that maybe helps. Again, that lighting, I need to get something for this side of my face. But anyway, let's get into this. So some of you know I did a big Inglot rant about how they don't have the greatest customer service in Canada. Um, Leslie has fixed my problem. She sent me my stuff. Um, I have my two Inglot palettes plus my rainbow palette. Um, I don't have my rainbow palette out. Sorry, let me grab that. Okay. I think I showed you guys the rainbow palette in the last one. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the rainbow palette again. Well, I'll give you a quick look at it, whatever. Anyway, um, so I have two Inglot regular palettes, plus I have a third one that I own from before that I got in Vegas a long time ago. I guess it was like a year ago now. But anyway, um, I also got some lip stick pans, um, the Freedom Lip Pans. I also got some cream blushes. I got some Inglot um, Sleek Cream Lipstick and some Inglot Sleeks. Uh, and a translucent powder. So we're just going to kind of get into it and talk about all of it. So I'm going to start with the translucent powder. It comes in a little jar like this. I think they do have a bigger size jar as well. Um, it is quite um, like a light beigey color. I don't know if you guys can actually see that color in there. But it goes on very sheer, um, very smooth finish. Like I put it over my Clarins foundation this morning. And I'm, I, I'm still feeling like very smooth, doesn't look chalky, doesn't look powdery, like really like this. So we'll probably be buying this again. Um, so that's the translucent loose powder. Um, and then, sorry, okay, I got two cream blushes, let's do that next. So they come in pump form like this. This one is uh, 86, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hands so that you can get the gist of the color. I'm going to blend it out. So these are very creamy. Um, that's the first thing you notice about them. Looks like that. So it's kind of like a taupey pink. Taupey nudie pink. There we go. Do you see that? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um, so that one is number 86. Now remember with Inglot, if you don't know already, Inglot does not have color names for anything. Everything is numbers. So... The only downfall of these is I really don't like the pump because I find it gives out way too much product. So, you know, I'm wasting quite a bit right now. Um, but they're very creamy, very blendable. This is the other color I got. This is color number 81. So this is more of like a coral peach color. But that was one squirt, you can see. And you can like, I'll sh I'm going to give you guys an example of how much you can blend these out. Because these are really blendable. I could probably cover my whole hand. And it still is quite rich pigmentation with one pump. Like, do you see that? That's my whole back of my hand. So, you know, that's the one downfall of getting the, their blushes, their cream blushes, I guess, because they come in these pump forms and you get a lot of product out with one pump and there's no way to control that. I've tried, you know, pushing the pump less. I've tried everything. There's no way to stop it from bringing out that much product. So that is the only downfall with these. But as for, they're very blendable, very creamy, very pigmented, but also can be very sheer. The more you blend them out, the sheer they become. So I do like those. Um, okay, let's talk about lip products next. We're going to leave eye products for last. So with lip products... There was one screw up still. I ordered three five palettes and I got three three palettes. So Leslie sent me another two three palettes, which she is going to do. So I've got some extra eyeshadows right now and quite a few of the eyeshadow pans were sold out. So you'll see like this is a nude one that I have. And I don't have the colors on here right now. Um, I have to put the colors on the back like I'm going to label this. But right now this is like my nude one. So it looks like that. And so you'll see there's one missing from there. I'm just going to quickly swatch these for you. Because my hands are nice and clean. So these are two like taupey nudie shades. And I'm just going to put them on the back of my hand. Very pigmented as you can see. Very rich. Really nice. And very blendable. Very creamy. Um, 
they're more like a lip stick gloss, I should say. Like, kind of like a MAC cream sheen. Cream sheen finish? Yeah. Kind of like a MAC cream sheen finish. They're almost like a lipstick, but they're just a little bit more glossy than that. So that's one of the three that I have. This is the second one. This is more of like a ready burgundy palette. So I just want to swatch two of these for you so that you can kind of get the idea of how, well, we'll do all three, how red these can be. There's the three of them on my fingers. As you can see, they, they look really red. We'll just do a quick swatch on my hand. There we go. So you'll see like some of them are matte, some of them have sparkles in them. Um, and like this one up on the top there. See the sparkles? Yeah. So they are very pigmented, really beautiful, really blendable. So I'm wiping off my hand as I'm doing this and I need a little bit more brush cleaner because it's just not coming off my hand as well as I thought it was going to. Um, so that's the second, so that's my red palette. And then the, the last palette I have right now, because I still haven't received my replacements for the ones that are, again, missing, but Leslie's working on it, um, is just like a coral palette. Just two corally colors. Um, I will show you some of my favorites that I've bought and that aren't in things yet. This is color 69. It's this really pretty pink color. I will do a full swatch video. Uh, and this is color 13, which is a really nice taupey pink. So those are, you know, colors that I like. Um, I quite like these. I find them very highly pigmented. They last a really long time. Um, I'm not wearing them right now. I'll tell you what I'm wearing right now in one second because I'm going to go to those next. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for like a lip, like a cream sheen finish lipstick, the Freedom System Lip Pans are amazing for me a lot. Enough said. Now, these are the other things I bought. These are the Sleeks. I got four Sleeks and one Sleeks cream. So the four Sleeks... They come in tubes like this. Uh, they have doe foot applicators. Let me just show you a doe foot applicator. Okay. So let's go through the colors really quickly. This one is number 36. It is what I'm wearing right now. I don't know if it's going to zoom in there. Number 36. It's what I'm wearing right now. So I'm going to swatch them all on my hand. Okay. So that first swatch is number 36. So it's a red with, well, kind of like an orangey coral red with, looks like orange sparkles in it. Uh, there we go. Okay, the next one is number 32. And number 32 is a very, I don't think you're going to even be able to see this one on camera. It is a very clear, oh, there we go, very clear, like, opal color with sparkles. It looks like silver sparkles in it. My phone's going off, ignore that. Number 35 is close to number 36, of course, except it on the or instead of being on the orangey side, it's more on the pink side. So I'm gonna put it right beside it so you can see the difference. So the pink one is 35 and the orangey reddish one is 36. And then last but last piece is 45 and it's this coppery orange color with orange sparkles. And I'll let you guys see that one. There it is, right there. So then the last thing I got, so these are very sheer to put on. Of course, they're buildable, so you can layer them. As you see, they go on very smooth. They have really nice, like, shine coming from them. They're not sticky like Macs are, so I don't know how long they'll last. I have not worn one of these all day yet, so that's something I still have to test. But they have this amazing smell to them. They smell like almost like strawberries to me. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. They smell almost like strawberries to me. So I really like them. And then so one of the other things I got from them, let's move along here, is it's called an Inglot Sleeks Cream. So it looks like this, same tube. This is number 93, but instead of being sparkly, it's just kind of like a matte lip gloss. I shouldn't say matte lip gloss. It's just not shiny. It's a, I mean, it's not glittery. It's shiny, but it's not glittery. So that's the one that I got right there. That is number 93. So now let's go on to their eyeshadows. So I'm pretty sure I already did a video on this, but I will show it to you guys again anyway. This is probably the best bang for your buck is the rainbow palette. Looks like this. You get all these different colors. I have not replaced these. She did send me the replacements for all the cracked shadows, but I have not replaced them yet, so I need to do that. But basically, you get three shades of each color in each one. So, I'm pretty sure I did a full review on this. You can scroll up through my old reviews to see that if you want. 
Um, now, first one I'm going to show you is my neutral palette. Um, so I have reseparated these since getting. Oh, sorry. I have reseparated these since getting my new ones, so they're all kind of not where they were originally. But this is my neutral palette from Inglot. So as you can see, they are all really pretty colors. I did have these numbered, you see, with my old palette, but because I've now shifted all my palettes around because I have three now, um, they're not where they used to be, so I have to renumber them. But basically, this is the neutral. It looks like that. I'm going to show you guys a couple quick swatches from Inglot, just so you can get... Oh, I still got red dye on those fingers. So... Forewarning, those lipstick paint pots, they really tie your fingers, as you can see. Um, why don't we do this, like, kind of blacky, browny gold one here. There we go. So, everyone who knows Inglot knows they're very pigmented. I'm going to do a light colored one, too, just so you can see it next to the dark one. I think that's good for that palette. But yeah, so this is my neutral palette. Highly pigmented. Inglot has four different formulations. They have a matte formulation. They have a shimmer formulation. They have a double shimmer formulation. And then they have an AMC, which I don't know what it stands for, but it's like kind of like a sheen. No glitter in it, but it still shines. So those are the two swatches from that one. You can see highly pigmented. Even that opal color is really pretty. So I'm going to show you guys the two other palettes I have. Now, I have gone through the Inglot website, printed off that whole, um, like, the whole list of all their colors, and that's how I've organized my palettes, is in order of that, because I figure, because I don't have all of the eyeshadows, when I order my next big batch, I will put those all in kind of one stack, and these ones all in one stack, so that way I'll have a good mix of browns and colors kind of in one, so I don't have all of my neutrals in one, and then all of my colors in another. So I'm going to show you guys the other two palettes that I have. You will notice that there are missing eyeshadows, and the reason for that is some of my eyeshadows were out of stock and two of them didn't come. But Leslie, of course, right away fixed that and is remailing the one, the two that didn't come to me. And then the ones out of stock, when they come in, she'll just mail those to me. So these are the two palettes that I have. This is kind of like, let's go this way first. Uh, well, this one? Okay, this is a pink and black kind of palette, and then this one has blues and greens and purples. So let's just watch a few of these. Let's do this purple up here. Two rubs. Let's do this blue. Now the one downfall of Inglot is they can be, some of them, can, they're, they're drier. So they have a lot of fallout if you're not careful. So there's the blues and greens. Like really pretty colors, really, really good pigmentation as you can see. Um, I will number all of these, and then I will do swatches, and I'm going to start a blog. I haven't done a blog yet, but I think it's time now to kind of sort of have a blog. So I'm going to start a blog, and when I do that, I will post swatches of all of these. This has kind of made me want to blog, just because there's so much to talk about. Um, so, anyway, this is, of course, the pink palette. Is what I'm calling it, because it's more pink than anything. But I do have a couple other colors in here that I want to show you. The white is really beautiful kind of like a silver, can you see that? There it is. Uh, and then this silver color is gorgeous. There's the silver color. Isn't that pretty? Um, let's do a couple of the pinks. Let's do this ready one up here. And let's do maybe this one. I'm just kind of guessing here because I, I haven't actually played with these all that much yet. So I'm just kind of, and let's do a bubblegum pink just for fun. There we go. So there's the bubblegum pink on the side there. And the two reddier ones. This one has glitter. This one does not. So, um, all in all, my issues have been dealt with. Um, you know, Leslie has sent me product. Um, all the products that I've ordered, I have now received with the exception of, I think, four eyeshadows that were sold out. Um, three eyeshadows that were sold out, two that didn't come. And the two lipstick pan mess up because I should have gotten three fives and instead I got three threes, which is not a big deal. Um, so, so far everything has been resolved. So I am very happy with Inglot again. I've always been happy with the product. I'm very happy with the customer service again because it's been rectified. Um, I love both my palettes. Well, I should say all three of my palettes now. Now, I did see in a video, and I wanted to address this. I did see in a video somebody say that... 
the inglot magnets don't hold very well when you stack them multiple. And I noticed that she had stacked them, each one with their lid, and then put a lid and put a palette. If you stack three palettes together with three lids, you're talking about six layers. There's no way it's gonna hold. And I don't think that's what Inglot intended. I think what Inglot intended was for you to stack three palettes whoa, together like this. It looks like one big block, but there's three palettes there. And let me tell you, these magnets hold just fine. Okay, I'm just gonna hold the top palette. These magnets hold just fine. You guys see where my fingers are there? I'm just holding the top palette. So whoever, the person who made that video, I can't remember who it was, she had stacked the lid and the palette, the lid and the palette. And that, of course, that's so much weight, that top palette will never hold it. But just one lid and all the palettes, and it holds just fine. Even from the bottom end, look, just fine. So um, they are heavy. That is the one downfall to Inglot. But that's what you get when you put, you know, 20, 40, 60 eyeshadows together in a magnetic palette. Like, what do you expect? They're, of course, they're going to be heavy. So anyway, if you have any questions, um, feel free to message me. I would de definitely recommend the Inglot Sleeks. These are the ones with the glitter in them. I, wanted, I wonder if it'll zoom in enough for you guys to actually see the glitter. Let me see. Well, maybe you guys can see that. I don't know. Definitely recommend these, and definitely recommend the Freedom System Lip Lipstick. That's what they're called, they're a lipstick. They don't seem like a lipstick consistency to me, but they call them lipsticks. So, um, those are my two favorite products from Inglot at this point, and of course the eyeshadows. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any Inglot haul that you guys want to share, or any colors that you love, please let me know and look forward to swatches with numbers to match. That way if you want to order your own Inglot massive haul, you kind of can get an idea what things look like. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go take off my makeup and go to bed. Night, guys.